Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, sorry about, I'm going backwards here with technology. The uh, camera stand, the microphone, the light, everything. Goodness gracious. Um, guy had to borrow it, a um, friend of mine. So I'm kind of stuck right now doing it some old fashioned ways. Uh, got this mini tripod holder, some of my older stuff that I've never used before. But I think it'll work because uh, I've got to get this done. Uh, so I wanted to show you guys. Uh, so it's going to be a quick unboxing. Kind of show you the some before and after photos. Uh, probably won't have too much uh, action. I mean, it's a simple. It's going to be a simple break job. So this is unboxing Detroit Axle um, eBay stuff. Or uh, this one came off Amazon actually. It's pretty heavy. Um, Detroit Axle. It's for a 2015 uh, Toyota Camry. Now, the back rotor actually got trashed. There was never any uh, squeaking on the car. It just went straight into grinding the rotor. Uh, now, I know a lot of people, they just replace uh, probably just the back rotors, back pads, you know, possibly check the front pads. Um, I went ahead and bought the whole kit. It was not that bad a price. I've heard good and a few bad things on the Detroit Axle parts. Um, I've never had any problems with the Detroit Axle brake parts that I've bought before. Um, so I'm gonna try these out. I uh, believe $124 for four rotors and all the brake pads, um, ceramic brake pads. So my, my fear would be, um, I'm probably gonna guess the coating's not gonna be that great on the rotors. Uh, I would probably say the brake pads may not last that long, may break apart, because um, I have no idea on the resins they use or anything. It's just a matter of trial and error. Hey, did these actually last? These are the original brakes on the car. It's got 62,000 miles on it. Um, my wife drives the car, and a couple of the kids take turns with it here and there just in town, but so that it gets used hard. Uh, kind of surprised that the back brakes went out first. Uh, but as far as I know, the front brakes are the original brakes. Um, I'm the second owner of the car, and as far as the maintenance records show, we couldn't find anything they'd basically done except they were really good with the oil when we bought it, which it only had uh, 22,000 or something like that on it when I bought it. So the uh, it shouldn't have had brakes in 22,000 miles, let's put it that way. Anyway, I could talk way too long on this. I gotta get going. Um, so apparently, all four rotors and brake pads are in here. I'm gonna make a mess and then clean up later. And it's got, um, this is UPS, you know, and it came heavy package over 70 pounds. So, uh, oh, I thought that just lifted right off. Didn't it? So, I got that on there is for my dog. Ah, well, that's at least they're nice packages. Oh. I hope the package is damaged, so I'm hoping everything else is damaged. That package is squished. Uh, so your Detroit axle pads, they actually have brake uh, cleaner. This one's very heavy. that so actually come not too bad here except the packages are highly damaged unfortunately here are the rears they're non-vented um, I mean you got to really drop a set of rotors uh, to hurt them if they're in packaging that's pretty padded So no dings, the plat usually you could look at the plastic and, and the plastic will show some cutting. So it's down there. Oh, these are heavy. Oh that one is not into the uh got a knife being really. There we go. So yeah, that box was damaged, but it wasn't anywhere close to the rotor. 
cross hatching is uh, very nice on this. I always think that's a big bonus. Uh, I want nice deep uh, visible cross hatching because that helps to break those new pads in. Now, one thing is these are covered in quite a bit of oil. What that usually tells me is these are not a coated. Um, there, you could tell there's a coating on the non-brake areas, but then they, they covered them in oil. Um, the last set of brakes I did for my truck was the Callahan brakes where I got the rotors, I got the pads, I got the calipers as well. Because I, I and they were rebuilt, paint calipers. Uh, those still do not rust to this day. Um, I know it's only been a couple months, four months, something like that. But I put them on there, still not a drop of rust. The truck just usually sits so the rain and everything, usually those will be rusted completely over. They're as beautiful as can be. Um, even where the pads sweep it, uh, absolutely no rust, which is just gorgeous. These are probably gonna rust when the car sits for a couple days, you know, when the rain moisture hit it. Um, probably the whole thing will end up rusting, I don't know. Uh, I just noticed that those barely had a drop of oil on, they were very dry because there was a good coating. These are, you could just see the film of oil through the plastic. Uh, and your pad keepers, retaining retainer clips. Uh, wow, looks like they even give you some, some grease for the pads. That package is a little bit damaged, but doesn't. That looks okay. Gosh, those are tiny, tiny compared to uh, my truck brakes. If you take an 8,000 pound truck, 14 inch front brakes, or uh, well, 13 and a half inch front brakes, um, those are dual piston calipers. And then you go to the new B guys right here. I mean, that that is tiny. And even the front, I mean, nothing compared to truck clips. All right, so nothing is damaged. So yeah, those look good. Even got some grease there if I need it. Um, that was another reason I kind of liked. I almost bought the Detroit Axle for my truck, but I needed the calipers. I couldn't make the deal work to get those rotors. And then I, I went for the cross-drilled and slotted because those brakes uh, do actually, about 200 degrees is the only difference. So yeah, we got brake parts cleaner, and they actually give you a, a synthetic dot uh, three brake fluid if you need it. I'll have to look though. I'm not sure if that's what that car takes. That's what comes with it. Uh, be really interesting if they're giving you brake fluid that doesn't even go to the vehicle uh, when you order it. Um, but now on the it, these are uh, well, the fronts are vented, rears are solid, uh, but they're just standard rotors. Uh, on the truck, the slotted and cross-drilled are not necessary unless you know, you're know you really into some hot lapping um, for cars and things like that. And I, I just don't think they're necessary. On my truck, it was a matter of lowering that threshold temperature down, uh, which is about 200 degrees to get it lower down. So there's a chance of not boiling the brake fluid as much or the pla there's, they got plastic pistons in the calipers. Um, and I think it helps with a little bit of brake fade. Blah, 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 blah. When you come off the interstate um, with a heavy load behind you, I know some people would argue that whole point, um, but I can't complain. They look beautiful, they're not rusting, so um, I love the way everything's working with those. This standard car, I mean, just get your standard brakes. You don't need anything special. I'm not hot lapping this at uh, some kind of NASCAR event, so. But anyway, um, I'm going to get to work getting this car jacked up, and we're going to get this brake job done today. Uh, in case I don't have uh, any more video and it's just pictures and stuff, if you guys like this kind of stuff, please like and subscribe. Um, let me know some comments. Um, and send some questions if you have any. Thank you very much. See you guys. Hey, guys. I um, wanted to finish something real quick. Uh, so actually I ended up not doing the front on this car. Uh, so it was hung, um, the slider pins uh, on the calipers. Uh, they were actually um, just starting to gum up and stuff. And that's what kind of caused the, the hang up. The, 
driver side rear was actually pretty close uh, to needing replaced, uh, but wasn't horrible. Um, left side was gone, uh, passenger side. But on the fronts, uh, there's still half the pads left um, pretty easily. Um, so I'm actually gonna let, go ahead and let those ride for a while because uh, I've got two brand new rotors, all brand new pads. Uh, we'll probably see if I can get another 10, 20,000 miles out of those um, and then go ahead and do it. Uh, just wanted to illustrate every case can be different uh, or usually is different to a certain degree. Uh, you're going to every job, every, you know, I'm just a DIYer at home. Um, I'm not a full-time mechanic. Um, I run the, I kind of do all the maintenance for our fleet vehicles. We got technically seven now. Uh, so I do all the brake work if they need fuel pumps, uh, oil changes, whatever on that case. Uh, so, I mean, I do those, but uh, you know, the normal guy at home, every car you do is gonna be just a little bit different um, and feel it out. I mean, hey, it's like slider pins are very, very important. Actually, a lot of professionals miss that point. They're in a hurry to make a buck uh, or they've got a boss on their back. I'm not downing any of them. It just, that does happen a lot, unfortunately. Uh, you know, the Jiffy Lubes of the world kind of situation, not just downing them. There's a bunch of them out there. Uh, I've seen, actually, we've had vehicles shut down because when we used to take them to a certain oil place, supposed to do 10 point and 20 point whatever inspection, uh, they actually never changed the air filter uh, and just a couple of years, they actually drove off and the vehicle shut off and it was the air filter um, plugged it up. Um, I would think the air filter would just disintegrate, but anyway, whatever I can ramble on. Um, so yeah, every job's a little different. Uh, took me about two hours um, after unboxing, getting all my tools out, putting everything's put away already. Um, the only thing left to do is for me to go hot lap this car because um, you want to break, do your uh, break in on the brakes. So I'm going to drive off to the country and um, get those rear brakes broken in and then you know we'll see and hopefully well i'd love it longer but i would probably say six months i'll be doing the fronts um, but i want to go ahead and get my money's worth out of them they're actually in great shape so uh, my other brakes are on the shelf and saving until i've got to replace those so anyway you guys have a good day um, like and subscribe leave me some comments if you have questions thank you very much bye